everybody, it's Christine the Honk Girl, and today I am playing Escape Room in a Box Time Drifters. I'm really excited about this. This game looks super fun, and um, I'm gonna play it now, and I'll let you know how it goes. I'll show you some of the little, like, moments, but I'm not gonna show you the puzzles, because we don't want you to solve it until you play it. All right, we gotta fix a time machine. All right, I think I'm ready to start the game. Let's see what's inside. Hey! Wow, this is really well built. Get this out of here. I like that. That's really cool. These props are nice. Down it goes. I drop stuff. And like all the paper things. I always love when the art looks really nice and the art was really nice with these guys. Oh, this is cool. They have a reprint and repack. That's really cool. I love it. Also, here's the, uh, the info. 75 minutes, 13 plus, one to four players and some of the story. All right, we'll start with the opening note, but look at these, these are so great. They're little toolboxes, but they're like envelopes, but they're really, really well designed. I like it, and then of course, they always make everything look cool. That was super fun. There were really clever puzzles. I love the main prop, the uh, time machine, and how it had different ways of using it to do different stuff, and then eventually getting it to work, which was really cool. And then inside, I got this. And I was like, yay, I won. And then I opened it, I was like, wait, there's more. And then I read the note at the bottom. It says, you must be in contact with someone who has Isabel's game sold separately to proceed. You'll need the papers from inside the time machine, the time machine schematics, and the non-paper parts from this game. And I was like, wait, what? And I realized I have to play this now. Ah! I'm excited. This is gonna be super fun. Uh, so definitely this is a game that I would recommend for people. Uh, it'd be a great, if you're still doing last minute shopping for the holidays, a great gift for the escape room enthusiast or puzzle player, uh, somebody who likes sort of board gamey type games. This is something that they would really enjoy. I think, um, I enjoyed it. I can't wait to play the other half of this and see how it all works together. I love the reprintability where you can play it uh, again. And I love that just, it's, uh, it's just clever and fun and something you can do at home and still get that sort of experience that is what I love uh, in escape rooms, which is a good story, interesting puzzles, and just a fun time. Oh, and it took us about an hour to get to this point with the little this, uh, but I'm sure that it would take a little bit more uh, once I have more to, to do. <laughs> I hope you like this. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, check out the links down in the description below and uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the review or the description of what happens with this here. And I want to thank uh, them for sending this out to me to check it out uh, and have a happy holiday. Uh, and make sure you check out Instagram where I'm posting all the events that I see coming up uh, there. I haven't been keeping up as well on here because it's the holidays and there's a lot going on. And those of you who know, know that I also now own an escape room too. So I'm super busy running a small business and we'd love to have you come out and check that out as well, which is why I've been doing a lot less reviews and more recommendations. <laughs> and I do recommend Escape Room in a Box uh, highly. So thanks for watching.